paint's a little bad car now, but oh, the wagon looking good. Yeah, I love this thing. So she's taking my car today. Her tires were actually delivered to another place that were from yesterday. So literally 30 minutes away. So. Yeah, I don't know why with your stuff they just put it wherever they want to. But she's gonna pick up the tires for the BBS wheels, so we'll have those today. And while she's gone, someone suggested that the little metal perch under the rear bag that actually comes out. I didn't think it did, but. I'm gonna give it a shot. Once that's out, probably give it probably that much more for the car to go down, and we'll see if that uh, makes any difference. I don't get to see the wagon rolling too often. And man, this thing looks so good. I love how this car sits. There she goes. Ooh, the wagon be looking so good. But currently the front of the car airs out to here, which is nice and low, but the rear is just a bit higher. We want the rear to be the same as the front, um, some people said pulling out the rear bump stop and the shock. Yesterday I pulled the entire shock out of the car, so no shock at all in the rear, just the bag, and it didn't change the height at all. So we're thinking the bag itself might be too big, um, but there's also a little perch below it that held the spring in place. I didn't think it came out, but people said it does, so I'm gonna try it today. If we can pull that out, it'll probably give me about that much more, and maybe get it to about here, or uh, maybe more, we'll see. We've got the car up in the air. The piece in question is this silver little aluminum piece right there. That's what the spring sits around. Now, I didn't think that piece came out, but apparently people say it does. So I'm gonna pull the bagger real quick and then try and pull it out. We'll see. Well, would you look at that? Did not know that came off. I thought it was all one piece, but hey, that'll save us a good amount of room. So I'm gonna put the bag back in. Let's clean some of this out real quick and see what kind of difference that makes an air and out. Hopefully it's uh, it's enough. All right, so aside from pulling out the little aluminum piece here, um, there's this little pad, this one, that's very rusty. And like, but it's like a little rubber pad, like a metal plant on top of it. I am gonna have to keep using this one. Uh, I'll be able to pop it out of there just so I can do some cleaning underneath it and kind of paint some of this stuff. We are replacing these control arms all together, um, but for now I just need to make it work. Um, but when this, when the bag sits inside here, I'll just do it like this so you can see the airline where it comes in actually touches the bottom so i'm going to use the pad still it's not very big it shouldn't make too much of a difference but i'm going to cut a corner of this like right here between my fingers cut that out so the bag will sit on top of this and the airline fitting coming in will sit down and recess inside of here that way it's not hitting anything there's no pressure i mean right now i could use it like this but i just don't want the pressure um pushing on that fitting and then maybe crack it so we'll use this it's not too big and if this is an issue, we'll have to figure something else out. Maybe I can do it like, I don't want to try and cut through any of this. So hopefully this will be good. But we already lost this much height. So the car should sit a bunch lower now. So all together we removed this piece here. I've cut a little bit out of this lower pad. So the airline fitting is not touching anything. Nothing to push on it, which is good. There's still plenty of the pad left to hold the bag in place. And now let's see what happens. All right, let's see what kind of results we get. The car is currently at right height. We're gonna air the car fully down and hopefully the rear goes lower. I also only did this side so I can compare with the other side. Three, two, one, and down she goes. A bit better. It's a bit lower. Let's go to the other side. It still needs more. Oh yeah, so this one's a bit above the tire. You can see where this one is now closer to right at the tire. Still not enough, um, as you can see from the front here. The front's way lower, but it is better. It is better in the right direction. Ooh, my wagon's back. Wait a second. There we go, that's what I wanted. But, um, oh. <laughs> so I pulled the entire bag out just to see if that was our factor. Um, the shock is back attached, so obviously that's not the issue. It's just gonna be, I think the bag is just it's too big. It doesn't compress small enough and it has these uh, pieces on the bottom of the top. It just makes the bag a bit bigger. Um, the rest of the guys we talked to who are, I think are running airlift kits, their car actually sat a bit lower than this, I think. So I guess that bag just compresses more than this one does. And that one feeds from the top down, uh, like through the top of there versus how this one goes from the side. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much where we want it to be. And I think this will probably go more actually. I just keep going up with this. Yeah, there we go, look at that. Look at that. So, Eventually, this is where we'll be. So I don't think it's a shock factor at all because the shock is attached and obviously I can keep going up if I wanted to. I think it's just a factor of this bag doesn't compress quite far enough and then we're just not getting enough of that. You can, I don't know if you guys can see or not, but you can see the gap uh, back there. Oh, that's how it would be. <laughs> there it is. Now it's low. 
So we got it better for now. Like I said we talked to Caster. We're, we're hopefully getting a new bag um, design. I'll show them what I found from this and try and get a new bag design. That way the car can compress farther and then go down to this height. That was good though. It does look really, really good like that. Look at there. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Ooh, some fresh meat for the BBSs. These are Pirelli P0s in 205 40 18. Nice fitting tire for the um the BBS wheels. Like I said, we're gonna do like I said, we're doing nice sticky tires on these wheels, and these will be the everyday, um, like not all season, but everyday handle rain, whatever the condition is. They look good though. So we're gonna load up the BBS. As soon as I finish doing that back right side point that played out, we'll take the tires and stuff to the yard and get them out in for you. Are you excited now? Yeah. Yeah, bags, I got some wheels going on. So the side is now done. The little plate piece here is out and we've cut the pad so the fitting doesn't touch. Um, so we just took some measurements to send a caster. This bag here only compresses to about five inches, whereas when the bag is out and I jack up the whole entire wheel and stuff here, we need about three inches or so um, to get the back to match the front of the car. Um, so this bag just doesn't compress near enough. So what they're doing right now is trying to find a bag that they may have that's gonna compress to around the three inch mark. That'll get the front, uh, the back of the car matching the front. All right, so take two, all out. Actually, the rear on this side is lower than the other side, it looks like. What is that? Hmm. That's actually not bad on this side, but why is this side higher? Or maybe it's changed now. No, this side's definitely a bit higher. So the, the fronts are good on both sides, but this side's a bit higher. The only difference is in the back side. So on this side, that little rubber pad had a bit of a metal plate on top of it, whereas this side didn't have the metal plate, it was just a rubber piece. And this side sits a whole bunch lower. Yeah, that's, that's a that's a noticeable difference. Like we're, so this side's about to almost the top of the Goodyear, whereas this side, uh, Goodyear's over here, but you can see it's way above this line. Yeah, that's a pretty noble difference. I wonder what the difference is. I wonder if it's just from that or, can I go down farther? No, I don't know, that's weird. I mean, I can't imagine, this is how thick the plate is, the metal. I mean, it's only, it's very, very thin. So I mean, I don't know, maybe that's it. It does look better though. Interesting. This side's almost like normal all the way around. Yeah. If I can just get this back right side to go down a little bit, we might be in business. Yeah, it's just a little bit high back there. I wonder why that is. So I went through and measured. So from the bottom of the center cap to the top of the fender, this side is right at about 13, where this side over here um, from the same place is about 12 and a half. So this side is about a half inch lower. So I'm gonna try and go ahead, after you come back to the junkyard, I'm gonna take the little metal top plate off of this side and just, I mean, other than that, that's the only difference between this side and that side. And I guess that makes a half inch difference. Um, but if we can get it down to a half inch, that'd be fantastic. So we're into the junkyard right now for the clothes, get our tires mounted on the BBS wheels, then come back and I'll try and adjust this. And hopefully the whole car is sitting like this because this side is almost completely level, maybe a little bit higher in the rear, but it's much, much better than before. So if I can have all that on the rear like this, that'd be fantastic. So we're here to mount her wheels and tires, but there's a new little golf in here. Kind of cool wheels, similar to like a Porsche twist type style wheel. It's very moldy and dirty and locked up. Oh, we got the, the clear and the reds. Bit of a mess in this car. Did you some GNC cups. A little shaker in there. Hey. Some joker seats. Kind of cool. Maybe, uh, maybe tomorrow. I'll come back for this. Oh, it's about to go down. Ready? It's about to go down. So we have the wheels, we have the tires. The only thing I forgot about, since these are brand new wheels, there's no valve stems. So we're gonna run over to Burger real fast, get a set of valve stems, then come back and we can get them mounted up. Jeremy also found this. It's actually an airbrushed mirror out of that black Mark IV over there. Kinda cool, it's like Galaxy with a little logo on there. Kinda cool piece. The valve stems acquired, now we're ready to do some wheel stuff. Wheel number two. These tires are painting it on here. 
It's like a, it's a little eight and a half and a two or five, but they're hard to there. Yeah, it's always just like this one part right here. Okay, yeah, you still need it right there. Right. Yeah, I gotta get about 55 PSI before mine pops over. 55? What's it at now? Uh, 45. Oh, oh god. You moving? You see it? Yeah, I can see it. Uh, really still. Three down, one more to go. They look good. Tell you what, these tires getting them on here, good for workout, we got it. I also learned from Matt, this little dot on your tire right here, should, you, when you're mounting your tire, you wanna put the dot to the same spot as your valve stem, so the computer knows where the valve stem is when you're balancing your tire. This one I did it, this one I forgot, and that one I didn't, so it's okay. We might have to put a few weights on this one, but not a big deal. The magic words, okay, okay. One down, three to go. Got the goods all loaded up. Everything balanced out nicely. We are ready to go. It is so windy again today. We can just put these right on my car. I mean like red caps, red calipers. It'd be perfect, honestly. Right to my car, right to my car. And then while the new wheels are gonna go on, I'm gonna pull that little plate that's back here off and hopefully drop this side another half inch. I gotta say, this car's come a long ways in the past, like what, four days? Bags, new wheels, it sits quite nice. Now, we might still have to do frame notch in the front if we want the front to drop more. I can't quite tell if the axle's hitting. It might be, I can't, I can't tell just yet. Uh, the rears came down a bunch, you saw on this side, and I pulled that piece out on this side, and it still came down a little bit more. I think the back right is still lower than this side, um, but I do like how the car sits. It looks so good on those wheels. But we're still gonna work to get the back to come down further and then possibly notch in the front to drop this even more. But overall, the car looks really good. Like, this car and those wheels looks killer. We're still gonna probably look for some blue caps to match the blue calipers to really make that all nice and matchy-matchy. But I really like this thing. It looks good, your fancy little bagged R32. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So again, shout out to Castor Air for the setup. Shout out to Retro Wheels for the very, very nicely done wheels, which I mounted tires on and didn't scratch them at all. I was a little worried, but did a good job. All the nice new load notes look good. I'm a fan. So like I said, still a few things to work out here and there. Oh man, that thing looks so good. So, so good. We still want to get a front lift for the car, some side skirt extensions, like the Maxon design, I think. Um, but yeah, this thing looks good. Killer. That'd be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed the R32. Sitting nice and low on the fancy wheels. Again, massive shout out to Castor Air for the awesome kit. This thing looks killer. All cars need to be low. It's just, it's just a fact. We still have some more things to adjust in the car, but for right now, for now, it is good. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget to be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. I yelled it last time. You wanna do it? 
I'm not going over there. Voice.